It is done. No more fees. Hybrid BS. Time to book a ticket. Isn't great, right? Just uh, pack your essentials, close your eyes, choose a random dot on the map, and now you're free. Damn, no internet. It's time of the century where people think about digital nomads as if it's not the whole cycle of uh, researching places, uh, sitting in a waiting room, then adapting to a new environment with a zillions of uh, puzzles and mistakes. But a never-ending vacation full of entertainment and uh, foreigners with the same mindset. But uh, being at this type of digital nomad 24-7 is simply not sustainable. Try to do so for even, I don't know, four months and you'll see that those nomads fall behind people who live in a fixed location and uh, can keep their healthy habits and schedule in place. I just have found that the lifestyle of a digital nomad leads to low-level anxiety because of lack of routine, lack of control, lack of stability. But nevertheless, digital nomadism continues to be an attractive and desirable lifestyle choice. So now it's time to learn what, place it could, uh, what places could be actually good for digital nomads uh, to settle down for a while. Uh, with the reasons listed uh, before, I would highly not recommend hyped places like Istanbul or Antalya. Don't get me wrong, they're amazing, but if your goal is to make as much money as possible, then uh, um, that would be quite difficult with a chaotic lifestyle and with a... <laughs> with a lot of distractions and entertainment, but probably those places could be good for networking, I assume. I never tried, probably just because I'm a quite introverted uh, person, but yeah. So, and those places not only offer entertainment, but also holes in your pocket because they are expensive. I don't know, like maybe if you earn in strong currency, like dollars or euros, you're fine with spending 2K for living, in Istanbul, Antalya, not Berlin, okay? So I don't know, it's, it's really expensive there. Uh, so, but it is a problem for me because I'm not earning those strong currencies. Mine is quite weak uh, comparing to dollars or euros, but at the same time, it's quite, and it's unstable, yeah? But it is stable if we compare it to liras, yeah? Um, just local currency in Turkey, yeah. So, and we are just, I feel like we are going neck to neck in competition of crushing. So we are doing great. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> Save me. So Istanbul is amazing, no doubt about that. Uh, it is right in the middle, easy to go to Africa, Europe, Middle East. But personally, I left it for two reasons. The first, you already know, I mean, it's expensive. And second one, what is the point of being a digital nomad, the person who can choose his place, can live just anywhere, anywhere you want. It's just like your choice. You're just closing your eyes and picking the location. Why would you choose that instead of this? Are you missing commuting or what? Like, do you really want to hear that on a daily basis? What's wrong with you? Do, like, come on. Do you still want to have a feeling that you are going to the office, you are listening to all the sounds all the time? Yeah, like, Istanbul is loud. <laughs> no, and uh, shocking, right? 20 million live people. <laughs> yes, it's, it's, it's shocking why it's so loud, uh, packed, etc. But, but for real, why? Why would you choose that for the long time? That's why, with not much thinking, I moved to Kayseri, the city I ended up while uh, trying to slow down. For real, traffic is crazy here. I would name it as a city of red lights, because you just keep stopping all the time at the red light for one or two minutes on the road, and everybody is chill except for guys with place from Istanbul. Yeah, those guys are not joking. So, nature, constant cold wind in May, with hot sun during the day, mountains, and cheap life. It costs only 70 liras 
Can you imagine? I could buy only two PDF for this uh, price. Unbelievable. So life is quite slow here. It gives a lot of opportunities to establish your routine and focus on work. And then on your days off, visit multiple historical sites. But if you are still intrigued with Istanbul, then check out this video.